Rowan McCabe is a poet who travels the streets of the northeast of England. He knocks on doors and then he asks people if they would like him to write a poem about them. Some, of course, slam the door in his face, thinking he's trying to sell them something or worse, but he's actually funded by the Arts Council of England, and now he wants to take his poems nationwide. Rowan joins us now. Morning, Rowan. Morning, you are right. I'm very well. It's rather unusual door-to-door service you're offering. Um, where did the idea come from? Well, I had this feeling that most people would enjoy poetry if they were approached with it in the right way. And I'd done a lot of street gigs and festivals and people would often come up to us and say, I I really don't like poetry, but I love what you do. And I I knew that more people would enjoy poetry. They were just, they they got off on the wrong foot with it, maybe at school. So I thought I'd try and test out my theory. Right. And so it's preaching to the, um, not the converted, as you would do at a gig if people came along to see you, but the unconverted. So tell us how it's gone down so far when when you walk along a street and, you know, how do you pick the houses? for a start well i mean first of all it was just like will it work anyway so i went to a street quite near my house in heaton that's like a suburb next to newcastle um and then after that it became a question of like how far can i push it so i started deliberately trying to go to different communities with um you know really a really diverse mix of people so i went to the biker wall after that which is quite a working class area uh, and it went down really well there had a great response um, I went to Fenham near Newcastle uh, that has a large Asian community there and, and it went down well there. So it's just become now about choosing a place, um, you know, trying to find a, a different community that I can reach out to. Yeah. So when you go in, if you came to my house, for example, and I said, OK, come in, let, you know, let's hear your spiel. Would you be asking about me, what's important to me? Or are you trying to write poetry that's more of reflective of the area? How does it work? It's completely down to the person who answers. The only question I ask is what's important to you. And it can be anything. I've had like, I really like spaghetti hoops to I'm worried there's going to be a World War Three and everything in between. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, these are major concerns of people, <laughs> especially at the moment. And what do you do? You go away for a bit, come back a couple of weeks later with a poem. How does it work? That's it. Yeah. So we have a chat about what's important to them and then I go away come back and drop it off a few weeks later. Mm, Okay, well, let's try and drum up a bit of business for you now. I know you have a poem prepared for us. Uh, Give us a blast. Brilliant, right. So this is called Snakes. All the world's creatures are perfect, and each has their own special gift, from seals on the beaches to black, slimy leeches. We need them all here to exist, because the fabric of life is close-woven and everything's bound up together. You pull one thing out, all the rest could fall down like a natural tower of Jenga. Without spiders, there'd be loads of maggots. Without wolves, all the deer overtake. Yes, each creature is critical, except one individual. I'm talking, of course, about snakes. Oh, snakes, oh, snakes, those cold-blooded killers. They're scaly and hated by everything else. They even begin to shed off the skin when they can't stand the sight of themselves. I'm sure you know snakes swallow food whole. They're able to unhinge the jaw. Do you know why they do it? They could easily chew it. It's just their way of saying, up yours. There's some that say snakes can be friendly and sleep with a python in bed. You can't go to the home or reach them by phone because all of those people are dead. Oh, snakes, oh, snakes, they abandon their eggs. They can't even be nice to survive. Don't doubt the persona. Just look at a cobra. You only see hate in its eyes. From huge anacondas to thread snakes. Put every last one on a plane and have Samuel Jackson fly up and gas them. No one will ever complain. Don't like snakes much, do you? <laughs> I was just about to say, Rowan, you're hired. <laughs> I tell you, that was great. Rowan McCabe there, maybe coming to a street near you soon. He is the door-to-door poet.